Hello, I'm Daniel M. Davis, and I run Steam Crow with my wife, Donna. So, thank you for coming out and uh, chatting with me. I'm Sam with Ignite Phoenix. Yes. Um, so, how did you kind of get into doing um, illustration, and then il definitely illustration for monsters and the Halloween theme? Well, I've been, uh, I've been an artist my whole life, and uh, I got into graphic design in 1994, and I'd always, I'd always drawn and always illustrated, but once I became a graphic designer, I started being able to learn more about design and then putting illustrated designs together. And I've been interested in Halloween my whole life. Uh, I was a Dracula, like six or seven Halloweens in a row, and I just loved monsters. I grew up with like Sinbad movies and all that sort of thing, you know, the old monster movies like Frankenstein and all the black and whites and then I discovered the Dungeons and Dragons and so that even turned me on to more monsters so I just I love monsters and I love Halloween. Very nice so a lot of your stuff um, for Steam Crow is monsters but mixed with vintage mm -hmm. so obviously if you're into the more was it the more old-school occult monsters like the old Ooh. movies and then what got you how did you get paired into How'd you get paired into like the vintage look and a little bit of this and a little bit of the steampunk look? Well, I uh, again, yeah, I, I I learned a lot about you know, vintage advertising and vintage design, and I really just started getting more and more into that. I used to own a arts and crafts house that was made in 1920 in Spokane, where I'm from, and so I really just got into it. I just you know really got into Art Nouveau, Art Deco. And uh, so I just started absorbing that, and then it sort of just came out in my work. And, you know, monsters meets cartoon monsters. I don't even know how that came to be. It wasn't a plan. I didn't plan to make cute monsters, but that sort of came out of it, too. Probably from, like, Count Chocula cereal. The cereal? Really? Probably. I think so. I think the okay. cereal, blueberry crunch, <laughs> all that kind of thing. So what are some of the illustrations and characters I guess that you're most excited to work with or that you typically have fun drawing like kind of describe I guess what well, a little bit of what Steam Crow does well I'm an egomaniac so I like drawing my characters so okay. it's, it's not my fault I just no I just like making my own stuff up I like making up my own worlds and, and creatures so I do a webcomic called Monster Commute and that has a whole universe of monsters and uh, that world's called Monstru so those are my favorite things. I also like illustrating classic movie monsters like Nosferatu and uh, Frankenstein from Mary Shelley and, uh, you know, the old movie monsters that are in the public domain. And so when we started Steam Crow, we wanted to, uh, we wanted to focus on monsters and, and that vintage aesthetic. So, yeah. Very cool. All right. So Ignite Phoenix kind of being around the Halloween time this year, we... Uh, we asked you to design our t-shirts, which are absolutely amazing. Whoa. We're excited to see them. Um, and we're excited to share them with everybody else. Um, kind of describe the your thought process that went into designing the shirts for this one. Well, you know, I wanted to, I wanted it to be really, really Halloween-y. So, uh, you know, I went with a color scheme that's, you know, really limited. You know, dark brown, orange, and cream. And I think those are really classic Halloween colors. I know everyone says black and orange, but I think brown and orange because brown is like the black that's faded uh, and more, you know, vintage. Right. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, you know, to me the, the most iconic sort of monster or creature from Halloween is like like living jack-o'-lanterns, uh, you know, uh, living scarecrows or steam crows. <laughs> and so... Uh, so yeah, it was just a chance to put those things together, and I like ghosts, and so yeah, just putting all those things together just made sense to me. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Was is there anything? Is there anything else you'd like to uh, share? Um, I may have invented Halloween. I'm not. I'm not going <laughs> to say it, but it's possible. Really. And uh, also the uh, the accordion, and maybe the. Uh, what are those animals that have the big plumage on the back? Birds that have the really long... Peacocks? Peacocks. I probably invented the peacock. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, we look forward to your next invention, and we're excited to share our t-shirts with everyone, and uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It was you. great.